If you guys have been following me on social media for a while, you know that I get a lot of negative comments and hate comments. It can get really bad, and it's a lot of the reason that I have to like take time away from social media. It's also a lot of the reason why I can't respond to as many comments or DMs as I would like. So many really great amazing people reach out to me with genuine questions that they have about my illness, but I have such a difficulty answering a lot of these because when I go to read those comments or messages, I get met with so many negative, hateful ones. I made a list of things you should not say to a person with schizophrenia, even if it's in the comment sections of a video. So let's go ahead and get started. I think people forget that Yes, I'm a content creator, but I am also a real person. And I do see your comments. I don't see all of them, but I do see a lot of them. And so sometimes I think people comment things not acknowledging that I'll ever read them, or they might not even mean to be rude or harmful with them. But there are things that people say that can be really upsetting and dangerous and frustrating. And so I'm gonna share some of the most common ones that I get that I think can be the hardest to deal with. And I, um, I saved a list here on my phone, so we're gonna go over them together. One of the most common ones I get is uh, fake claiming or people saying, is he just faking this? The reason this is so frustrating is because I've lived most of my adult life with schizophrenia and I didn't start making content until about five years ago. So I had lived my first you know, five years of being an adult struggling with undiagnosis, with addiction, with chronic mental health issues, with delusions, and no one sees that. So when they see me doing well, they assume there's no way that I could be a person living with schizophrenia. I think it says a lot too that people see me doing well and their first instinct isn't, this is a person who's living very well with medication and treatment. Their first instinct is, this person has to be faking because no one could be functioning this well with schizophrenia. And those are very real comments that I get daily. Another thing you should never say to people with schizophrenia is, maybe your hallucinations are ghosts or you seen into another dimension. This can be really dangerous, not just for me, but for my followers that have psychiatric disorders because it can lead to delusions. I don't want to mock anyone's beliefs. I don't want to make anyone feel like their beliefs aren't valid. You can have those beliefs, but saying that to a person with schizophrenia is incredibly dangerous, and it, it's what leads to a lot of people not getting the medication and treatment they need. Please, quit trying to convince people that their schizophrenia is some sort of enlightenment or gift. It's so dangerous. And I'm in a very stable place, uh, so comments like that fortunately don't affect me a whole lot, but people all over the world follow my content uh, who live with schizophrenia or some sort of psychosis, and that could be very dangerous for them. So this one's less about me uh, because I am in a more stable place. This is more for the people that uh, follow me. I wanna make sure that this is a safe page for them too, and I can't police all the comments. So please don't do that. The next one is kind of in the same like ideology, uh, except it's about religion. So people will often say, your hallucinations are just demons. And I've talked a lot about religion and schizophrenia and this same thing. It can be very dangerous to convince a person with schizophrenia that what they're experiencing is some sort of religious or demonic possession or anything like that. The reason being that religious delusions are the most common type. So once again, you shouldn't say this for a lot of reasons, but that can be extremely dangerous, and you are entitled to your beliefs. I, once again, I have many friends who are very religious. I just don't want anyone to not seek medication or fall into delusion because someone told them that what they were experiencing wasn't schizophrenia, but some sort of gift or um, demonic possession. Uh, I've, I've had people go as far to tell me that I should have an exorcism. That is a real comment that I get frequently. People telling me that I need an exorcism to cure my schizophrenia. I wanna let that sink in uh, because when I first started making content, I couldn't believe that that was something that people genuinely thought. Um, it goes to show how little 
we know about mental illness and how much advocacy I still need to do so people don't have very outdated ideology like that. Another thing you shouldn't say to people with schizophrenia, and this is actually a question I get. So every time I post a video of me having symptoms, for example, me um, recording my surroundings to see if I'm having visual hallucinations or me using my service dog, people will always ask, if there's a person in your house that you didn't invite or don't know, why wouldn't you be able to put that together? People ask me this, and it's usually people trying to insinuate that I don't really have schizophrenia because, oh, I should just know that someone's there in my house or not there in my house. Every time I have a hallucination, it comes with a little bit of psychosis. It comes with a little bit of delusion. Things that should make sense don't make sense. If they always made sense, I wouldn't need tools to differentiate between what was real and what was not. I wouldn't need coping mechanisms like my phone or my dog. And I know from some people this is a genuine question and they don't mean it in a mean way, they don't mean it to insinuate anything, uh, but it's like I answer this question so much and it gets so frustrating because I can't tell who genuinely is trying to understand and who's saying it as a way of trying to accuse me of faking my illness. But either way, like, it. To me, it's so obvious that, of course, the reason I'm not acknowledging that it's a hallucination or I'm not shocked that there's a person in my house is because I'm struggling with a little bit of separation from reality. And so, you know, try to educate yourself a little bit about schizophrenia before you ask questions. I know that my page is here as a resource and I'm always willing to ask questions, but that can be so frustrating and it can be very like hard for me uh, to figure out who's trying to support me and who's trying to uh, be negative about it. Another thing you should never say to someone with schizophrenia is, you should stop taking medication and try blank. First of all, I want to acknowledge that it is okay to promote things like a healthy diet and yoga and exercise in addition to medication and treatment. I have such a frustration and anger with people telling me and my followers to not take medication uh, and instead do this or that. Now, I know there are people having successes with different forms of treatment, that's great. But for a psychiatric disorder like schizophrenia, especially one that comes with a lack of insight, meaning that it can be very hard for a person with schizophrenia to identify they have schizophrenia, it can be so hard to get someone on medication and then to keep them on medication that promoting stuff like this um, could really affect someone's life forever. Because if you say something like that and you convince them to quit their meds and they do that and the thing you advise them to do doesn't give them the clarity or insight that medication gave them, they might never have that stability to get back on it again. I am all for promoting working out and yoga and dieting and exercising and all of those great things in addition to your care that you're getting. And hopefully you get to a point of stability where you could even reduce your medication or something like that with the help of your care team and doctor. That should not be something you just decide. That is so frustrating to me, please don't suggest that. I always say that like, there's a huge stigma around mental illness, but there's also a very huge stigma around medication and treatment that I feel like is so dangerous for people with schizophrenia. I understand. Uh, because when I first started medication, I didn't want to be on it. No one wants to be on medication all the time, but there are certain illnesses and diseases that require you to be on medication, and this is one of them. So instead of pushing people away from it, let's get people the help they need uh, so that they can be safe and have stability. Um, another thing you should never do to a person with schizophrenia is try to convince them that you also see their hallucinations. I will say that I think this can be person to person, especially because I know of psychiatrists who have reached out to me or psychiatric nurse practitioners who have reached out to me and said, hey, sometimes I tell my clients that what they're seeing is real in the moment if they're having like a severe psychiatric episode just to calm them down. I am not a mental health expert. I am not a doctor. I don't know what is the best thing to do in those situations. I will say in my own experience and with the people in my life, the best thing that people have done for me is distract me from my hallucinations 
don't draw attention to them, don't even acknowledge them, and then definitely not playing into them. But I'm also at a pretty stable place now, and uh, I've spent years getting to a point where my friends and family could better help me with my illness and I communicate my needs. I know of a few other advocates who have said that in the moment they actually prefer that someone says that they also see or hear what they're seeing, and it might calm them down. In my own experience, I think it makes it harder and harder for me to separate reality from delusion or hallucination. And so I always opt for people to be honest with me, just distract me from whatever I'm experiencing, and then after the fact, talk me through what I was saying or seeing or what conversation I was having with my hallucination. I also think that like, this is very dangerous on social media. Never do this on social media, it's a different thing if you are a primary care person or you are a direct caregiver or family member for someone and they have communicated with you that they prefer that you acknowledge it and move on, whatever. But online, like people who comment on my page, you don't know me. You don't know how I'm gonna react to that. People will literally try to make my hallucinations or delusions worse by feeding into them. And to me, that's so insensitive, but also incredibly dangerous. Um, the last one I'm gonna do here is, you should never tell someone with schizophrenia to just ignore it. This one to me is almost comical, right? Because if I could ignore the symptoms, I would just do that. If I could just pretend like I'm not having hallucinations or delusions, uh, I would do that. And I know people are probably hearing me say that and be like, oh, that's probably not something that a lot of people say. You would be shocked. So many people tell me that I need to just ignore it and it's mind over matter and I need to just be stronger than my illness. Schizophrenia doesn't work that way. Uh, I don't know who made you believe it does, but that's not how these things work. It's incredibly dismissive of my experience to like trying to make it seem like this is something that I could just be ignoring and I'm choosing not to. Uh, it's so frustrating and it really is such a negative thing to say. Uh, so don't do that. <laughs> I would love to do a part two of this if you guys have any questions or comments about the ones I've asked, um, or if you have any other ones that you've heard as a person living with schizophrenia or schizoaffective disorder, let me know and I'll feature them in the next video. There's a few other ones I wanna talk about. People will tell me constantly that I should be locked up or I shouldn't be allowed in public or that I shouldn't be allowed to have social media. Um, those are all real things that get said to me every day. Uh, and so I would love to include those in the next ones. But also, if you guys have any recommendations, let me know. I appreciate you guys all so much. Uh, I'm hopefully getting back to my two videos a week regimen here. So let's, fingers crossed, I can keep it up. Uh, and as always, uh, my name's Cody. Don't worry, I'm real. Take it easy, guys.